Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing all of the multiplayer maps that will be in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, all the information which I have to share with you guys in today's video is coming from a guy known as Long Sensation, who over the last week or so has been leaking loads of information about Black Ops 3 from a leaked marketing document. So there will be a link in the description to his YouTube channel and his Twitter. Well, with that being said, and without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So, being displayed in the video right now, there is a screenshot of a list of maps that will be in Black Ops 3, as well as a brief description about each one. So, starting from the top, we have Hunted, a mid to long range engagement map with a waterfall in the middle. Next, we have Labyrinth, which is a fast paced and close quarters map with tight tunnels allowing shotguns and SMGs to dominate in the forgotten tombs and tunnels of Giza. Giza, of course, being the location of the famous ancient Egyptian pyramids. But moving on to the next map, we have Boneyard, which is an open night themed map surrounding a central church dominated by snipers in the watchtower. Next, we have Stronghold, which is a snowy slash icy based map in the foothills of Switzerland, allowing for close quarters combat but with long range engagements. Next, we have Relic, battle your way through some of the world's most cherished items in the world's most protected museum. Next we have Convert, battle it out in the Gongsu facility where the very own cybernetics you rely on are created. The next map is called Overboard which is a large oil rig which is sinking rapidly but allows for assault rifles to dominate in the forever changing map. The next map is Blockade which is a map based at the bottom of a crumbling dam, watch out for falling rubble and water. The next map is called Poolside, battle it out on the outskirts of one of Dubai's most luxurious hotel swimming pools. Then we have Combine, a tight, close quarters map allowing for SMGs and shotguns to dominate, with a risky but rewarding wall running spot. Then we have Construction, fight it out in a fully functioning construction site where cranes move large slabs of concrete and metal, forever changing the map layout. The next map is called Storage, which is a map based in a storage warehouse full of new military technology, including robots, tanks, helicopters, etc. And finally, the last map is named Reactor. Battle it out in the forever abandoned nuclear reactor facility in Chernobyl. So there we go, those are 14 multiplayer maps that will be in Black Ops 3. But just to clarify, this is not the finalized list. It is still possible that maps could be added to this list or taken away to then be added to the game in a future DLC. But out of all these maps, if I was to choose one which I think will be most popular when the game is released, I would choose Labyrinth, the fast paced and close quarters map based in the tombs and tunnels of the ancient Egyptian pyramids. I myself think this map sounds very interesting, I think it could be a very enjoyable map, so I think this map could be the community favourite, but be sure to let me know your thoughts about these maps, and which one do you think will be the most popular map, or the most favourited map, out of all of these when the game is released, so go ahead and leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on this one. I would also appreciate it greatly if you could also take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, because it helps me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend that you do, because I'm going to be uploading all the latest and the greatest Black Ops 3 information over the next few weeks and months up until the game release. Well, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.